So today as we answer the technical question of why does my keeper become warm, we have to understand what's sitting behind it. And sitting behind the keeper, the metal piece right here, we actually have a solenoid. And as you can see, solenoids come in different sizes and different shapes. And a solenoid in the security industry is a very generic term that we use for a device which can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. We find solenoids in many different products within our industry from electric strikes, electrified lever sets, electrified mortise lock sets, and even electrified bars. So what we're gonna talk about now is a situation in which the electric strike keeper will become warm to the touch. The most common situation we have where it becomes warm to the touch is when we have our access control system to that electric strike set up in a timed function. Let's say, for example, I have a business and the business is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The front door is set up with an electric strike in the frame, and that is how we control access into the business after hours. But during business hours, I want that front door to be open. It's free, open and close, ingress, egress from the building or facility during that time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and determine why is the electric strike keeper warm to the touch. I've talked to the customer. The customer said, no, the door is not in a time function, which now leads me to my next step is to determine Am I getting excessive voltage going to my electric strike? So now what I'm gonna do is with my electrical circuit I have set up, I've got a power supply, a switch, and my electric strike here. I've got my multimeter set up to 200 volt DC. I'm gonna use my cords. I'm gonna go right to my power source and I wanna see at my power source what voltage I have going into my circuit. We know from testing with our multimeter that is caused by excessive voltage from our access control system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the HES Smart Pack 3 and put this in circuit to be able to reduce the voltage from my power supply through my circuit into my electric strike. I'm gonna open up my existing connector. and easily drop my Smart Pack 3 into circuit. And we know it's working right. When my yellow light pops up, I've got proper voltage running through my Smart Pack into my electric strike. And you can actually hear the strike re-engage once I powered it back up. In about five to 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna recheck our electric strike keeper to see if it's still warm.